Have you ever wondered how two neighboring countries can be so vastly different yet equally mesmerizing? Today, we embark on a captivating journey through South Korea and China, two titanic nations that stand as pillars of cultural richness and historical depth in Asia. South Korea, with its vibrant pop culture and technological advancements, offers a stark contrast to China's majestic historical tapestries and its role as a global powerhouse. Both nations, however, share a tapestry woven with threads of ancient dynasties and modern innovations. South Korea's bustling cities like Seoul and Busan are juxtaposed against China's monumental landscapes and sprawling urban developments like Shanghai and Beijing. The cuisine in each country tells its own story of flavor. From the spicy kick of Korean kimchi to the subtle complexities of Chinese dim sum, the culinary adventures alone are worth the voyage. As we explore serene temples, bustling markets and towering skyscrapers, we uncover the essence of what makes each country unique. Join us as we dive deep into the heart of Asia, exploring two cultural powerhouses. Culture isn't just part of a country, it defines it. In the grand tapestry of East Asia, no two threads are quite as vividly distinct, yet beautifully intertwined as those of China and South Korea. These nations, though close neighbors, offer travelers a rich palette of cultural experiences, each deeply rooted in history, yet dynamically evolving in its own way. Delve first into the ancient heart of China, a civilization that stretches back over 4,000 years. Here, tradition permeates the air, from the hallowed Great Wall stretching over rugged landscapes to the serene tea ceremonies that epitomize mindfulness and respect. Chinese culture is steeped in the philosophies of Confucianism and Taoism, which emphasize harmony and moral integrity. The practice of calligraphy, a revered art form, beautifully encapsulates the Chinese reverence for patience and precision. Contrast this with South Korea, a country that has catapulted itself to the forefront of modernity within just a few decades. South Korean culture is a pulsating mix of the traditional and the ultra-modern. The nation is a powerhouse of technology and innovation, home to sprawling urban landscapes and cutting-edge architecture. Yet amidst this rush towards the future, traditions like the Jongwol Debrium Fire Festival and the meticulous art of hanbok making still thrive, offering a glimpse into the country's rich historical tapestry. K-pop and Korean dramas, vibrant and universally appealing, have turned the global spotlight onto South Korea, creating a cultural wave that influences fashion, music and cinema across continents. This cultural phenomenon, known as the Hallyu Wave, represents the dynamic, outward-looking face of Korean culture, contrasting sharply with the introspective and historical depth of Chinese culture. From the tranquil bamboo forests of China to the neon-lit streets of Seoul, the journey between these two countries is less about the miles traveled and more about the centuries spanned. Each offers a window into the soul of East Asia, where ancient customs and future aspirations live side by side. From ancient temples to skyscrapers that touch the clouds, the cultural landscapes of China and South Korea are as diverse as they are captivating. Every dish tells a story. What tales will your taste buds uncover? Imagine walking through the bustling streets of Seoul, where the air is fragrant with the tantalizing aromas of street food. Here, kimchi, a quintessential Korean dish made from fermented vegetables, offers a vivid palette of flavors, from sour to spicy, each bite a testament to the preservation techniques honed over centuries. It's not just food, it's Korea's culinary ambassador, essential at every meal. Moving from the tangy ferments of kimchi, let's delve into the colorful and comforting world of bibimbap. This dish is a canvas, painted with sautéed vegetables, a sunny side-up egg, and slices of meat, all atop a bed of steamed rice. The magic happens with a dollop of gochujang, Korea's fiery chili paste, that binds these disparate elements into a harmonious whole. Bibimbap isn't just a meal, it's a mosaic of the Korean landscape, served in a bowl. Crossing over to the vast expanses of China, the culinary narrative shifts dramatically. Peking duck, with its origins in the imperial courts, is a dish that demands patience and skill. The duck, known for its crispy skin and succulent meat, is often accompanied by thin pancakes, sweet bean sauce, and slivers of spring onions. 
It's a dish that embodies the grandeur and complexity of Chinese history. Not far from the imperial sophistication of Peking duck, the humble dim sum takes center stage in southern China. These small, bite-sized portions, steamed to perfection, range from shrimp dumplings to pork buns. Originally a companion to tea for weary travelers and rural farmers, today, dim sum serves as a connection to the communal and familial spirit at the heart of Chinese dining. Whether it's the spicy kick of a Korean barbecue or the subtle flavors of Chinese dim sum, each meal is a new chapter in the culinary book of Asia. This journey through the kitchens of South Korea and China reveals not just unique flavors, but the stories, traditions, and histories they carry. Each dish offers a deeper understanding of the lands they come from and the people who create them. Monuments and mountains, palaces and pandas, where will your journey take you? Today we dive into the iconic attractions of two fascinating destinations, China and South Korea. Let's start with China, a vast landscape steeped in over 5,000 years of history. Imagine standing atop the Great Wall, which snakes over rugged mountains and through lush valleys, stretching more than 13,000 miles. This ancient fortress stands as a testament to human ingenuity and endurance. Not far from the bustling capital city of Beijing lies the Forbidden City. With its vermilion walls and golden roofs, it served as the imperial palace for 24 emperors. Walking through its massive gates, you're transported back to the days of dynastic rule, surrounded by one of the most important preservations of Chinese culture and history. And then, in the quiet province of Shaanxi, the terracotta warriors guard the tomb of China's first emperor. Unearthed in 1974, these thousands of life-sized statues each have unique facial expressions and postures, a silent army frozen in time. Now let us whisk you away to South Korea, a country where tradition meets modernity. In the heart of Seoul, the Gyeongbokgung Palace stands with dignity. This grand palace, once the main royal residence, is an architectural marvel with its intricate designs and harmonious balance with nature. Watch as the changing of the guard ceremony unfolds, a colorful spectacle reminiscent of scenes from centuries past. Travel south to Jeju Island, Korea's island of the gods. This volcanic island offers a picturesque landscape of tangerine groves, lush green tea fields, and the majestic Halasan Mountain at its core. It's a haven for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. Lastly, experience the vibrant energy of Myeongdong, Seoul's bustling shopping district. Here, neon lights meet traditional tea houses and street food vendors offer everything from spicy rice cakes to soft serve ice cream in a melon. Whether climbing ancient walls or exploring futuristic cities, the sights of China and South Korea will leave you breathless. Navigating new lands can be a breeze with a few pro tips. When planning a journey to South Korea or China, the first step is understanding the visa requirements. For South Korea, many travelers can enter visa-free for short stays, but it's essential to check the latest requirements based on your nationality. In China, most visitors will need to apply for a visa ahead of time, so plan accordingly and perhaps consider using a visa service to simplify the process. The best times to visit can greatly enhance your travel experience. South Korea is radiant in spring from March to May when cherry blossoms paint the cities pink, and in autumn from September to November when crisp air accompanies golden foliage. China's vast landscapes are best enjoyed during similar seasons, as summers can be quite hot and winters bitterly cold, especially in the northern regions. Language can be a barrier, so arm yourself with some basic phrases. In South Korea, knowing how to say hello, annyeong haseyo, Thank you, kamsaham nida, and sorry, mi anheyo, can go a long way. In China, hello, ni hao, thank you, cxe, and where is the bathroom, chesuo zainali, are essential. Smartphone apps that translate languages in real time can also be invaluable tools. Cultural etiquette is another crucial aspect. In South Korea, always remove your shoes before entering someone's home and remember that tipping is not customary. In China, be mindful of the etiquette surrounding business cards, which should be received and given with both hands, and understand that public displays of affection are less common. Lastly, embrace the local tech-savvy environments. In South Korea, free Wi-Fi can be found almost everywhere, and in China, 
apps like WeChat are essential, not just for communication, but for payments and bookings too. With these tips, you're all set to embark on a journey filled with adventure, discovery, and unforgettable memories. As our journey comes to a close, the adventure awaits you. Reflecting on the vivid landscapes and bustling cityscapes of South Korea and China, it's clear that each offers a unique tapestry of experiences. From the serene temples and vibrant street markets of South Korea to the majestic Great Wall and bustling night markets of China, these countries offer a gateway to exploring rich histories and dynamic modern life. Beyond the sights, the flavors of Asia have tantalized our taste buds. Imagine sipping South Korea's soothing barley tea or savoring the spicy kick of Sichuan cuisine in China. The cultural immersion extends to the arts with traditional dances and the futuristic architecture that define the skylines of Seoul and Beijing. So why not pack your bags and set off to explore these incredible destinations? The stories you'll create and the memories you'll cherish from South Korea and China will surely be as diverse as the landscapes you traverse. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and like and comment below to motivate us to bring you more exciting travel content. Safe travels!